Today I'm showing you how to make four different Mai Tai variations. If you're not a Mai Tai lover, maybe one of these variations could change your mind because there's some subtleties that are absolutely delicious. National Mai Tai Day is on the 30th of August, so what better way to celebrate with one of these Mai Tai riffs? So let's kick off today's Mai Tai session with Rum to the Jungle. This one's created by Fanny Chu of Donna in Brooklyn. My shoulder's a little bit sore from my 15 shaken cocktails, link in the description. So I'm just gonna flash blend all these cocktails today. Some call for whip shaking with a little bit of pebble ice, but for ease, I'm gonna use the blender across all four of these. So first ingredient is 37.5 mil, one and a quarter ounce of Demerara rum. So there's a medium body rum, aged for eight years. Three quarter ounce of Clarin, a Haitian rum. The original recipe does call for their Casimir release, which is from a single village. This is from four villages, but Casimir does feature as a quarter of that blend in this rum. So Clarin, Haitian rum, made from fresh pressed cane juice, so it does have some agricole uh, characteristics to it. Quarter ounce, 7.5 ml of banana liqueur. And then the recipe calls for an oat cinnamon syrup. I've split it into two, so I've got an oat orgette and a cinnamon syrup. So half an ounce, 15 ml of each. The reason I split these two syrups is just for simplicity. So I'm probably gonna have a lot more uses for cinnamon syrup, but I'm only gonna have this one use for oat cinnamon syrup if it's blended together. Don't forget the recipes will be in the description below. Three quarter ounce of lemon juice. Two agitator cubes, small amount of pebble ice, and flash blend. So transfer it into a brandy balloon and top with pebble ice. The original recipe calls for a ruby port. I'm using a tawny, so this is aged, it has more probably richer flavors, you know, dried, dried sultanas like raisin like characteristics. Uh, whereas the ruby port is probably a little bit fruitier. They are both sweeter fortified wines. I'm substituting because I don't have a ruby port. Quarter ounce, seven and a half mil. Then garnish with a torch cinnamon stick. A sprig of fresh mint. And a beautiful orchid. Stick around to the end and I'll do a side-by-side -side comparison of these four different Mai Tais. The Kentucky Mai Tai. This is created by Dan Sabo. I've mentioned him a couple times on the channel because he's made one of the best whiskey sours. I'll link to that video in the description as well so you can check it out. Kentucky Mai Tai, so you just straight up know that it's gonna have bourbon in it. And for some reason, I feel like people in Kentucky seem to like peaches, is that right? But it's got peach liqueur. Let me know in the comments below if you're from Kentucky and if you love peaches. One ounce of bourbon whiskey. One ounce of Espadin Hoven Mezcal. Half an ounce of Chino, half an ounce of peach liqueur, preferably Combier, half ounce of lemon juice, half an ounce of Orja, a few agitator cubes, a little bit of pebble ice, and dry flesh. Keep in mind that flash blending is incredibly efficient at diluting and chilling the drink, so you don't need to do it for long. If you don't have a milkshake blender at home or a spindle blender, then you can always whip shake. Whip shake meaning adding a small bit of ice, quickly shaking before transferring to your glass. Garnish with a pineapple wedge and a mint sprig. And Mai Tai variation number three, the Mai Sharona. Essentially a banana Mai Tai. And of course, you want tropical fruits, you want that funky uh, overripe banana kind of flavor. You use banana liqueur and then accentuate that with two ounces of Smith & Cross rum. It sits at 57%. Next ingredient, half an ounce, 15 ml of banana liqueur. I'm using Tempest Fugit. Then we have a macadamia syrup, 15 ml, half an ounce. Freshly pressed lime juice. Don't forget to save at least one of your hulls for the garnish. Three quarter ounce, 22.5 ml. Add that to your mixer tin. Add two agitator cubes, a little bit of pebble ice and flash blend. Transfer to your old fashioned glass before topping it up with more pebble ice. Banana Mai Tai, garnished with banana chips and a mint sprig and the lime hull. The Mai Tai Spritz, 
Uh, this creation is by Martin Kate of Smuggler's Cove. To be honest, I don't really like champagne or sparkling wine in cocktails apart from the French 75. I haven't really had too many that are good, but this is by Martin Kate. Plus, my wife really wants to uh, drink some champagne. So what better reason to use it in the Mai Tai Spritz? A great excuse. Again, straight into the mixed tin and we're measuring out. Uh, I believe he actually calls for uh, Denizen's Merchant Reserve Age Rum. Alternatively, you can use Apple from the state. I'm using their, their 12 year and measuring out one ounce, 30 mil. Follow by half an ounce, 15 mil of Pierre Ferrand Dry Curacao. Half an ounce, 15 mil of Orget. And half an ounce, 15 mil of fresh lime juice. Two agitator cubes, some pebble ice. Flash blend. Transfer straight to the glass, and then we add champagne. Ordinarily, I wouldn't measure it, but today I'm going to. Four ounces. Of course, if you prefer, you can fill it with ice and then top it, but I just like doing this way, so it integrates all the ingredients before you add the ice. Garnish with a mint sprig and a lime wheel. Time for a Mai Tai taste off. First up, we have the rum to the jungle, which has two different kinds of rum, Demerara rum, a Haitian rum, a little bit of a, like an agricole kind of vibe to it, and an oat and cinnamon syrup. It's delicious, it's really bright. I like the addition of the lemon juice instead of lime. The oat syrup is really quite sweet. I followed the recipe to a tea. It's a one to one sugar syrup from what I remember, but it's got oats soaked into it, the oats are blended, but you get some sugars from the oat, so it is quite sweet but delicious none, nonetheless, and you get that complexity of two different kinds of rum. Dan Sabo's Kentucky Mai Tai. Whiskey, bit of china, peach liqueur. What else is in there? Okay. Mezcal, a little bit of smokiness. Uh, I think the highlights of this one would have to be the china and the mezcal. The peach is pretty hidden. It's got kind of like a, a sweet pop of acidity. Mezcal's at the forefront. Another delicious variation. And a banana Mai Tai. Of course, you're gonna use Smith & Cross or a similar pot still funky style rum uh, in a banana Mai Tai, enhance that banana flavor. The tropical fruit from the rum itself works exceptionally well. You've got that kind of musky banana characteristic. There's a tropical vibe from the, the Smith & Cross overripe banana, tropical fruit, um, that funkiness from that particular rum shines through in this. And of course, the one that I am most wary of, the Mai Tai Spritz, that I specifically made so that my wife could finish off a bottle of champagne. <laughs> Mai Tai Spritz. As I said before, I don't love drinks with champagne or sparkling wine in it. So it's definitely not my favorite, but it is good and I can still appreciate it. All right, guys, you're not gonna like me for this one because I'm gonna call it a draw for my personal liking between these two here. The Rum in the Jungle and the Kentucky Mai Tai. Between these two, you guys are gonna to have to try them for yourself and let me know in the comments below which is your favorite.